What's up everybody? Check this out. Just as I said earlier in one of my previous videos, these P14s up here were gonna give birth and check it out. Only a few days later and we got more pups. There's the mother right there all flat. This time we got one, two, three, four, five pups. And that stuff floating around in the water and that white stuff back there, that is the sperm. So that's evidence of remating. That is awesome. And we still have one more female here that's pregnant and she will also probably pop within the next day or so. Who knows, maybe even today. I'm gonna pull these out and then after I'm done with that, we will move on to today's video. Okay everybody, this is what we're doing today. I am working on the Albino Bosmani system here. Um, it's a project that I've been delaying and procrastinating for a very long time. I mentioned in a previous video that I was having some problems with the filtration system over here. It used to be leaking over there by the by this uh, motor box here and I had the buckets catching all the water. I have made several attempts already to fix it but I'm just getting one problem after another. You know I guess with high-tech filtration comes high-tech problems and I spent a lot of money on that filtration. I didn't want to just discard it and scrap it, but after several attempts to fix it, I'm just getting frustrated with it. So what we're going to do is actually completely eliminate this whole filtration system, and I'm just going to go back to what I know, back to the basics. I'm going to go with one of these big uh, canister filters, and of course, I'm going to add a UV on there as well. Mama got busted. So. This is a process that I have to be very careful of because I have my most valuable fish here, my prized possession, the albino bosmani. And we're just going to go step by step and I will show you uh, what I do along the way to preserve the biological filtration while I'm doing this transition of the filtration system, okay? And uh, let me get started. Yes. All right, guys. So this is what I did so far. I took one of my floating cages and I dropped it in. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer all the, the moving media into that container there, into that cage, so that I am preserving all the biological of the system. This way, um, this way after I remove all this and I install the new canister right here, this thing still needs to cycle. So I still have the bacteria from here uh, filtering the water of the system. So this is going to take a little while for me to transfer all this media over and uh, when I get to the next stage I will show you that part okay in the meantime let me continue working here okay. we got all the movable media out now it's sitting in this cage hopefully it should be able to support the bio load Ideally, it's not the best because all the water is not moving through there, but I'd probably put a pump on there or put an air stone on there. So this is all empty now, and now I'm just using a, a sump pump and pumping all this water out the door right there. Once that is done, we're gonna start dismantling this and moving it aside, and then I will start working on plumbing the canister. And uh, that's pretty much the order of uh, things that I have to do. I'm just trying to do it in a way that I don't make the whole place all wet because you know me, I hate that. All right guys, as you can see, all the media is out of here. We've completely drained this. Show them what. We, this is completely drained now. I've removed the drum filter. We disconnected all that, got that out. Now I just got to disconnect the pump from, from this media chamber and then we'll get this out of the way. Here we go. It's just loosening a couple of these things up here, these couplings. And then I got that little dish underneath there. Do you see that? So it can catch all the, the water that's gonna drip out of here. But I've already eliminated as much as I can. So we'll see how that goes. Let's loosen them all nice. Okay, here we go. Let's take it apart. You wanna come to this side? Let's see. So, oh, God, everything's wedged in there pretty tightly. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
voila. No wet floor. I love it. <laughs> okay, so that's disconnected. My wife's gonna have to stop filming so that she can help me lift this onto a dolly and we can wheel this out of here. And uh, we'll be back. Um, what I've been working on here is creating this little manifold here because in this overflow, I got four holes here. You see that? So I gotta link up all four holes together so uh, it can feed to the pump. And that's what I've been working on, measuring it out and pre-fitting it. Now I'm ready to put it all together. Uh, let me find my parts here. I use all these couplings because it just makes my life easier to make adjustments. So let me get this on there. Okay, that's one. And then here's the other one right here. That one and this one is independent, so let's get this one up on here first. Oh. <laughs> Can you get down in and see? Okay, we got that one on. <laughs> see? This way, it gives me the ability to play with it and make adjustments and then I link it all together by tightening everything. Oops, this looks a little short. That's not good. How'd that happen? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna have to fix okay. this. I was able to figure it out. I didn't, it, there wasn't it wasn't short. I just had to play with the movement of everything a little bit and it came together nicely. So that gap closed up right there. Okay, so everything's all plumbed. Sorry, there's four holes here, but I connected three. One here, which is this one, I'm leaving open, which later is gonna connect to a overflow line. And uh, I will get to that next. So now I just gotta tighten all this up and we will be good to go, at least on this section. But let me get down here. Oh. And start tightening all this up. Let's start with this one here. It requires a little bit of thinking and a lot of measuring and cutting to get all this to fit together nicely. But it's all worth it in the end by me spending that extra little time. I always take a lot of pride in my plumbing. I'm sure you guys know by now. So now I get to link all this up together and then I'll start working on the filtration. All right. So I'm just gonna keep tightening this and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit, okay? All right, we're ready to open up this pump. So a quick little unboxing video. This is another pump from uh, W Lim Pork. Uh, nice packaging here, molded foam to protect the pump during shipping. Look at that. Very good packaging. Here are the pump unions. Put that aside. And pull out this pump. Oh, it's heavy. Here we go. That's the bad boy. All right. Um, let's get that out of the way. So now. I'm just going to start placing all the equipment and getting the position that I want. Then I'm going to start uh, seeing how I can connect all the plumbing to my satisfaction. Um, we'll be right back. That's more or less the position of the pump because this is the drain, this is the line from the overflow and I got to connect it to there 
So now I'm going to bring over the canister, which um, I already like pre-assembled the unions and these little things like the, the pressure gauge and, and I filled the media already. Now I just have to play around with the positioning of how I want this. And it's, I think it's going to more or less go something like this. Um, right? Oh, the UV. It's right here. We just picked this one up also. Uh, let's see. I think it can go here. Right. Here. I just got to make sure there's enough room for all the elbows to turn and stuff. So, here, come on. I'll explain how it goes, the flow of things. So from here, it's gonna go into the pump here, okay? This is the output of the pump, which will go into this one right here, pump. So I probably will have to push this back, you know, to line it up, right? That makes plumbing easier. And then from, from this, the, this is the output, and the output will now drop down and go into the UV down here. We want to fill the UV from the bottom up, okay? So it's going to go here, and it will come out here, and then from here, back to the tank, right? That's the basic idea of what I need to accomplish, and I'm just going to fine-tune the position now, and then we will get to work. Okay, guys, it's been about maybe four or five hours later, and I'm almost done. I had to spend a lot of time figuring out the layout because um, some of the stuff was like protruding in the way and uh, I had to really give it some thought so here's where I'm at right now more or less it's the same as what I said earlier um, just giving you a quick update I'm almost done everything's connected here here to here down to there now I just have to connect the output of the UV to the return back to the tank and then hook up the UV bulbs and I'm pretty much good to go. The fish are looking okay. They're breathing a little bit hard, but I added an air stone in there. So it's looking a little bit better now. It's getting late. Let me finish up and I will show you the finished product real soon. I was here pretty late last night. I finally got everything done. Um, still a few minor little things I have to fix but other than that the system is up and running there are no leaks I apologize that I couldn't show you step by step everything that I was doing it's just not possible for me to um, work and film at the same time I know I've said that before and I know I've gotten some comments you know stating that they do want to see what I'm doing but I do apologize but anyways here is the final finished product Everything's running, looking good. The water is a lot more clear now, and the fish are looking good. So they made it through that rough process. The system was off maybe about like seven, eight hours, and uh, it was only running on an air stone. But I think everything will be good. Now I have this huge mess to deal with parts and plumbing and, and, and all this old filtration I gotta find a place to put it but once again thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it please like share subscribe Merry Christmas to everybody and a happy new year hopefully it'll be a prosperous new year for everybody in 2020 see you guys